hello and welcome to pawns.com. This video is to show you how to modify your Xbox 360 console uh, using the Hitachi drive, ROM version 59. I'm showing you right here my computer, which is hooked up through a serial ATA connection directly to the motherboard. And to flash, we're going to use Jungle Flasher. And when you first connect it, it's probably not going to to detect anything, it's going to give you that pop-up box. Since we have the Hitachi drive, we're going to click on the Hitachi tab. And it's showing that the drive is connected and that the ROM version is 59. And if we select another port on the computer, it shows that there's nothing detected. So let's go back. And there it is. And we're going to next send it uh, the mode B command. So basically just read this prompt, follow the instructions, it's very important, and once you do, do that, you can continue to the next step. So we press OK, mode be done. And what happened is uh, I had to scan by hitting the refresh button because it says no Hitachi drives found. Just hit refresh, it'll, it'll find your drive again. Now with uh, the drive version 59 and the mode select as the transfer method we're going to back up our information from the drive so just in case anything happens we can use that information to reflash it again so we're going to make a folder going to name it Hitachi I'm going to save it in there. Next I'm going to save the drive key. Same folder. Okay, now that we've done all of the preliminary work, we're going to actually start the flashing. We're going to take the iXtreme uh, hacked firmware and the original firmware and we're going to copy it into the jungle flasher folder. There will be a text file that says place firmware here and we're going to do exactly that. Paste it in there. Now we're going to proceed with the flashing but we're going to make sure that all of our correct uh, areas are selected. Once that's done we hit flash going to ask you to save it again so uh, we're going to make another copy just in case I'm going to save it in here and click yes to continue and it really is that fast and it's done So how do we know it's done? Well, we're going to test it now, I'm putting in a copy game, Rainbow Six. Now this is basically just for the science of it, just because we can do it, and not because we should do it. And if you use this modification on Xbox Live, you're almost guaranteed to be banned and that's never really a good thing so do this just for the science of it do it in your your house because you bought it because you can but don't do this on live because it'll, it'll render it useless and it's good to just have a fully functional machine so i hope that this has been helpful and um, give it a try if you like